Hello my dear friends, I am Sujoy and today in this video I will tell you how to solve a transportation problem faster by Vogel's approximation method or BAM. So let's start. First some basics. This is called a cost matrix and these individual cell values are called the transportation cost. We have three origins O1, O2, O3 and three destinations D1, D2 and D3. So if we transport one unit of goods from origin 1 destination D2, our cost of transportation is 4. But if we transport one unit of goods from origin 1 to destination 1, our cost of transportation reduces to 1. So our objective is to transport goods from 3 origins to 3 destinations in such a manner so that our total transportation cost is minimum. Next, these vertical values outside are called the supply values and these horizontal values outside are called the demand values. That means in origin 1 we have total supply or total capacity of 9 units of goods. Similarly in O2 it's 1 units of goods. And in destination 1 there is a demand of 8 units of goods in total. Similarly in D2 there is a demand of 11 units of goods. So we have to fulfill all the demands by all our supplies in such a manner so that our total transportation cost is minimum. So this was the basic, let's start the solution. First step, you have to check whether sum of all the demands, in this case it's 21, equals to or not sum of all the supplies. If both are equal, we can proceed. If it's not, then it's an unbalanced transportation problem. How to solve it? Watch my other video for that. So since both the values are equal for this question, so it's a balanced transportation problem and you can proceed. So next step is to scan each row and find out the smallest number and next smallest number and subtract the smallest number from the next smallest number and write in outside bracket. So for row 1 the smallest number is 1 and next smallest number is 4. So 1 is subtracted from 4 and written in outside. So it's 3. Similarly in row 2 the smallest number is 2 and next smallest number is 6. So 2 subtracted from 6 is 4. For row 3, it's 8 minus 3, 5. So for row 1, so for column 1, it is 6. For column 2, it is 2. And for column 3, it is 2. Next, we look for the largest value among these outside bracket values. So the largest value is 6. So we'll do our first allocation in this column, that is column 1. So in column 1, the smallest number is 1. So we'll allocate in column 1 and in this cell. So for this cell, the demand is 8, supply is 9. So we'll take the minimum value, which is 8, and allocate. So 8 is allocated, it becomes 0, and it becomes 1. And now, since it becomes 0, so we'll strike through this column. Next, we will do the same process. Smallest number is 4 because this column is exhausted. So 4 subtracted from 5 is 1, 6 minus 2 is 4 and 9 minus 3 is 6. So again the largest number is 6 and for this 6, for O3, our smallest number is 3. So for this 3, Demand is 2, supply is 11. Take the minimum value and allocate. So it will become 0, it will become 9. So it's 0, let's strike through it. So we are left with this column only with total demand 11 and total supply 1 plus this 1 plus this 9. So 1 plus 1, 2 plus 9, 11. So just allocate it. No check is required because total demand and total supply are equal now. 1, 1 and 9. So it becomes 0, it becomes 0, it becomes 0 and it becomes 0. So our allocation is done. So we find out our total allocation cost. But that means we have allocated 8 units of goods with a cost of 1 per unit. So for this cell the allocation cost becomes 8 into 1 that is 8. So we'll add all this allocation cost to get our total allocation cost. Total allocation cost will become 8 into 1, 8 plus 4 
plus 2 plus 81 plus 6 that is equals to 101 these are our required answer so we can verify this result by checking individual rows and columns so for row 1 our total allocation value is 8 plus 1 9 which is equals to the total supply for row 1 similarly for row 2 our total allocation value is 1 which is equals to total supply for row 2 next for column 1 total allocation value is 8 which is equals to our total demand similarly for column 2 total allocation value is 1 plus 1 plus 9 which is 11 which is equals to total demand for column 2 so by this way we can check whether our allocation value is correct or not I have videos on how to solve a transposition problem by Northwest Corner method, matrix minimum method, Bogle's approximation method in details, and modi modified distribution method or modi method. I have videos on assignment problems and simplex method also. I have various types of problem in assignment problem. You can get all those videos on my operation research playlist. The link is given in the video description below. So how was the video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, please like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that when I upload my next video, you get an email notification. And share this video among your friends and family because sharing is caring. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video. And still then, stay connected.